Hey guys, what is up? It is Geo here, or True Geo Stellar, back again with another story time. Now, this story time takes place back when I was in first grade, so I was at least five or six years old. And, you know, like any five or six year old first grader, you kind of just want to have fun. You know, you're just messing with some crayons, some doodles, whatever. Now, in this particular day, you know, um, I remember it clearly. Well, not clearly. I went out with my class. You no, know, we were we had gym class, and we were gonna go play with some monkey bars, some equipment, you know, some things. You no, know, for a gym playground, which was really just monkey bars and trees, and places to hide behind trees. So, you know, I was just coming on the monkey bars, and I was like having fun. I was doing my own thing with my own friends, and I climbed up on the very top. Now. When I climbed on the very top, I was determined to get to the very top bar. After that, I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty scary. I want to go on the medium size one, the second level. Not not the th- first, just the second. The third one, uh, if that, that's if I wanted to you know, just hang. But I wanted to climb and do whatever. So I'm climbing beh- uh, down to the second one. Now, I'm just dangling. and I'm sitting on the bar, basically. And I'm just having a good time just looking at people below me, I guess you can say. Now, there was a group behind me. Now, this group was just messing around. And they were pushing each other, you know. And they were pushing each other to run into other objects. Now, when you're young, the only way you can stop when you're running, you get pushed by something, is to hit an object or you slam into it just so you can stop. Well... This kid who got pushed by someone, you know, he thought I was still holding on to the monkey bars. I was about to get right off in that very moment. And the next thing I know, black. Everything went black. I could not, you know, tell what just happened. And when I wake up, I'm like surprised. Why is everybody looking around me? I you know, want to get up. You know, so I try to use both my arms and hands to get up. I realize I can't move my right arm. It And then as soon as I look at it, it is fractured. It's broken. I am now crying. I'm screaming. I am freaking out. And my gym teacher comes and helps me. You know, she comes and picks me up. We start walking to the nurse's office. And I am in serious pain. She told me not to move my arm or hand at all. Didn't listen. And I was in so much pain. After that, you know, once I get to the nurse's office... I am just waiting for my mom to come pick me up. No, then after my mom comes and picks me up, you know, we were trying to figure out who did it. You know, we didn't know who, uh, no, that day. So we go to the the hospital and they tell me to go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just and you're gonna find yourself a surprise. Was wondering what the surprise was, but it was my arm in a cast after I woke up. Now I had to wear that cast for about six to nine weeks. And, yeah, it was kind of boring having that cast on me. You know, even when I was young, I didn't want attention, you know. I was just like, I just want my arm to be fixed just so I can play video games. But now I have to wait until it's fully healed. Well, after I had healed, you know, I failed first grade because I couldn't turn in all my uh, homework and all my, you know, stuff for it. So I had to repeat that grade, but I was determined to find out who had flipped me and upside down and broke my arm. I had to figure out it was from two people. I found out who pushed the kid and the kid who you know, flipped me upside down. So I spent about two years figuring out who. Yeah, I was in third grade when I figured this all out. And I found it was a girl who pushed the guy, you know, and she was a bully. And the other kid, you know, he apologized. They both apologized. I got them to apologize because I was like, hey, you guys caused me to have a broken arm and I had to fail a grade. So I need an apology. Or if you guys want me to you know, blame me for everything and make you feel like crap, just apologize. Granted, when I was in third grade, I probably should have worded that differently. They said, all right. But the kid, the first one, the boy, he was like, I'm so sorry. It was me. I was just so scared of getting in trouble. Can you just accept my apology? And I said, yeah, sure. But the girl didn't, didn't want to. She didn't want to accept that she had to apologize. But, you know, with some talking and persuading, she apologized. Then we were cool. You know, we all went our separate, you no know, paths. And it was whatever. 
So that was pretty much me, you know, having my broken arm and just figuring out who did it. I basically went Sherlock Holmes to figure out who did it. It was kind of crazy. And when I tell this story to my family, they were like, what the heck did you do? Why did you spend from first grade, your second year of first grade, all the way to third grade to figure out who did it? I was just determined. Okay, I just said that to my family. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. If you did, hit that like button, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more of this. So thank you guys so much. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.